Okay, so one of the easiest questions, let's clear this, that you can get asked on an interview is simply is simply to reverse a string. Very simple. I'm so I'm gonna use JavaScript to solve this solution. Now, here's the question: giving a string, reverse it. Example: Apple, reverse it. Greetings, reverse it. So there's two types of solutions that I'm going to show you how to do. The first one is fairly simple. The second one takes a little thought to it. So let's let's go through both algorithms. The first one, you take the string, you convert it into an array, and then the array you can just reverse the array. Simple. And then just use uh, and then just turn the array back into a string. That's you know. That right there shows that you know how to use packages, libraries of JavaScript. The second one is where it shows that you know you you have some type you put some type of thought to it, where you create an empty string and then you can loop through each character of the string and just return the reverse of that. So let's see, let's let's code it up. All right. So the first one. So the goal of this again is to. Is to giving a string? Can you reverse it? So let's see constants. I'm I'm gonna create reverse. Let's create a variable called reverse string. I'm using a little ES6 here. I'm you. I am going to post a video soon. The difference between ES6 and you know just vanilla JavaScript. Let's see. Uh, so const reverse string. Let's see, we have that. Next, I, next, the thing I want to do is this. So convert the string into an array. All right, so const array. Let's see, array, um, const, uh, I spelled that wrong, obviously. Const array equals string dot convert to an array. Oh, um, split. True, let's split it. Then reverse it back. <laughs> it's that simple. Let's see. Reverse it back. Array dot reverse using JavaScript library. And then back into a string. String equals array dot join. Join back, and then we can we can print it out. Right, so let's see if this works, and then I'll go through it. So I'm gonna call it reverse string. I am going to pass into it the word apple. Obviously, it should give you LPA back. <laughs> so let's see. Save it. Dashboard. Node. Node. What's the name of this file? Okay, beautiful. It works. Beautiful. LPA. So let's try another one. Let's try uh, greetings with a apostrophe. Okay, let's see. Beautiful, it works. All right, so what I did was this: I I turned the array and I turned the string into an array by splitting it. I reversed it using the, using functions in the library. Then I turned it back into a string. That's it. Very simple. All right. So the next the next algorithm says create an empty string. So let's how am I going to do this? Let's see. Let's let me be a little fancy here. I'm gonna be a little fancy. Function string self calling function. I'm gonna call do a self calling function. I'm gonna pass into it. Same thing. Greetings. All right. So create an empty string. Let because we're using let instead of var. Let meaning we're still gonna change it. That's the difference between let and const. Const is it stays the same. Reversed equals empty string. It's fine. Now let's loop through each character of it. For let 
character, you don't have to call it that, of string, and then just simply do reverse equal the character plus to sh uh, plus the reversed. And then let's print it out. Okay, I'm being fancy here. I call it answer, reverse answer. Reverse. Value. Let's say that. We're being fancy. And here, by doing all of this, I mean, this, this you're telling your interviewer that you know what you're doing, basically. I mean, this might be an overkill of a simple solution, but hey, let's see if it works. Let's let's uh, comment out this one. It works! Yay! Notice we have... Just, let's clear it out so we can see it again. Let's do it. Clear. Beautiful. Reverse value. Where is this coming from? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Let's try a different word. Let's try Babatunde. That's my last name. Babatunde. It works. Hey. Let's try. That should be it. Thank 